saying you should, but you'd probably be able to win. Here's the couch. Uh, the bathroom's upstairs to the left. You already knew that. <laughs> um, I'll text Aiden, let him know you made it. Uh, you're welcome to whatever you can find in the kitchen. I know you don't usually drink, but uh, I think we have some tequila someplace. Aiden has some blueberry wine his father made. It's pretty good. Um, I'm out early tomorrow morning to get him from the airport, so I'm gonna head to bed. Uh, also, the back door doesn't um, lock, so just make sure to slam it if you go for a walk or something. Okay. Hi. Ah! Who the... What the... Get out of my head. When did I get on the floor? Who are you? Where am I? D did I die? I don't think so. It's always felt more like a dream to me. Feels more real than any dream I've ever had. More real than a dream, but not fully real. Like when you space out about something. You're physically there, but you're not mentally there. But the opposite of that. You're mentally here, but not physically here. Detached, but real. That's a perfect way to describe it, actually. Yes. Hunter. What? You asked what my name is. It's Hunter. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Darren. So, seems like we got nothing else to do. Do you want to talk? Hello, Earth to Darren? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Do you want to play the question game? What? The question game. The rules are simple. We go back and forth asking each other questions. You get one pass to either ask or answer a question. You don't have to answer your own question, but you should only 
ask a question you'd be comfortable answering. I'm a pretty open book, so you can pretty much just ask me anything. Oh, and you can't ask a question that's already been asked. For example, if I ask you what your favorite color is, you can't ask me what my favorite color is. Okay, that sounds like it could be fun. You start. <laughs> I just did, when I asked if you wanted to play the question game. Okay. Um, what is your favorite color? Really? What? That's such a lame question. I don't know! This is the first time I've played the question game in my dream, not a dream. Alright, I'll let it slide. This time. Red. It's very eye-catching and associated with joy, passion, and happiness. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Rome. It's steep and such a rich history. I think it'd be wonderful to go there. I'd want to go to Paris. Going there with someone special would be super romantic. Like a storybook. Do you have anyone special you'd like to go to Paris with? Not really. What's stopping you from going to Rome? I don't have a lot of money right now. Though I'd like to be able to move there after I finish school, if I can afford it. Oh. What are you going to school for? Is it in my turn? Let me flip that question back on you. Are you in school right now? And if so, what are you going to school for? Pass. Why can't I leave this column of light? What column of light? This one that we're sitting in and I can't seem to push my way out of. Dude, you're sitting at a bar. What do you mean I'm sitting in a bar? We're sitting in this solo spotlight in this black void space. I don't know what to tell you. When I came in, you had your head face down on the table with an empty glass in your hand. But that doesn't make any sense. I don't know what you want me to say. Wherever you are, I'm not seeing what you're seeing, so I can't help you. I don't know why you can't get out of your beam of light. But if there really is nothing but darkness around you, maybe you should just stay in the light. At least you know what's there. And you're not alone. You'll stay with me? Yeah. I mean, I come to this bar every night anyway, so it's not like I won't be here. Okay. Your turn. Do you always sleep fully clothed? I've had a rough day. Rough enough to fall asleep in jeans? Yeah. Do you want to talk about it? Not particularly. What is a philosophy you have? I don't want to think about the rest of my life. I want the things I like, and I try to take things as they come. How can you be so confident like that? Well, there's just a lot of shit that happens that you have no control over. There's no point in worrying about that sort of stuff. Who cares if someone dislikes the color of my hair? clearly shows that they're wasting their clearly precious brain space thinking about my hair than anything else. If you had a timer that could count down to any event in your life, what would you pick? What are the rules of this timer? What if I pick something that could happen multiple times? I would say if it was something that could happen multiple times, it would reset itself after each time, and start counting down again. Okay. What about if it was something that had already happened? Would it stay at zero, or would it count up? I think it would count up. If it was something that would never happen, it would be at zero. Okay. That is a tough one. I know what I would want. Oh yeah? I'd want to know when I'd found my true love. 
I've had such a hard time with dating recently. That's rough. Like this last guy. He was super nice and popular, very personable, and he made friends very easily. People always came up to him for help or advice. And while he was off spending time doing that, he wasn't spending time with me. What would you do if you were in my place, Darren? Well, uh, if I were you, I would try to talk to him about it. I've tried talking to him and he would listen, but I could never be sure that he was hearing me, you know, like actually hearing what I was saying. He would, he would tell me he understood or he would say, don't worry, but it, it just made me feel like my emotions weren't valid. It made me feel like I wasn't enough for him, as strange as that sounds. If I were him, I would tell you every day. What? If I were him, I would tell you every time I saw you about how much I care about you. About how I actually love the color of your hair. The way it feels in my hands, the way it smells when you lean on me. I tell you that your voice is soothing and it can calm me down when I'm stressed and that your laughter makes me feel warm. That your breath always smells nice. That you putting your hand in mine gives me goosebumps. When we're together, I feel confident and strong, like anything's possible. Like my inhibitions melt away and my mind expands to show me all that's possible for me. Hey. Thank you for sharing that with me. It couldn't have been easy for you to open up like that, and I just want you to know I really appreciate your trust. I, I know what it's like to be hurt by people you're close to, so I can relate a little bit. You can? How can anyone hurt you? Why would anybody hurt anyone else? Probably because they're not worth caring about. I care about you. <laughs> it's okay. There you go. I've got you. I've got you. 